Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to enable and configure keyboard trading for charts on Optimus Flow. So what this feature does is essentially allows you to program or punch in a command or set of functions that essentially allow you to carry out those functions with the click of one key on your keyboard. So you can do things such as buy at the market, sell at the market, flatten your position, modify your position. There's quite a few different um, categories that you can customize and program in, and we'll get into those in just a second. Now, if you've been using Optimus Flow for some time, or you're a subscriber to the professional package, you may have actually noticed this feature in our dome surface heat map here, um, as you can see in the top right. We've added these the same functionality to charts and TPOs just to make it more readily available for those users who don't use the dome surface. So how do you access this feature and what does it do exactly? Well, first you want to navigate to the top right of your chart. And again, like I said, it's now available in TPO charts as well. You can see it in the top right there. So again, you want to navigate up there. You'll even see if I hover over my mouse over this feature, it says enable keyboard trading. If I go ahead and enable it, you'll see it actually says keyboard trading is active in the top left hand corner. Just to clarify, this is a symbol that looks like a keyboard in the top right of your chart. Now, once it says keyboard trading is inactive, highlighted in yellow in the top left, that essentially means your keyboard is active. And if you press any keys on there, it could actually submit an order. So it's pretty important to know which commands you have set up or which commands are set by default. So that way you're not accidentally pressing anything or submitting any orders accidentally. So you can customize the commands or the actual keyboard functions by accessing your settings. So you can access your settings by coming to the top left of Optimus Flow or the chart, excuse me, and going to your chart settings or by right clicking your chart and going down to settings. You'll see in the bottom left of our chart settings, we have a section called hotkeys. Now hotkeys in general have been available for quite some time on Optimus Flow and are available throughout the entire platform and do various functions and features. Just here's a snapshot of some of the general functionalities. You can enable or add indicators. You can zoom in and out of your chart. You can set different time periods. All are available and programmable with hotkey functions on Optimus Flow currently. So feel free to take a look at these and check some of them out. You may find them very helpful. But what we're going to be focused on in this video in particular is actually trading through these hotkeys. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see we've actually added a new section on your charts and TPO for trading. If you'd like to take a snapshot or maybe write these down, these are the current default programmable functions in hotkeys that are available in Optimus Flow. You can change them as well. But let's take a look at one or two and go from there. So let's no, uh, take notes on two for right now. You'll notice we have sell market, which is programmed to S, and we have flatten, which is programmed to shift, control, and X at the same time. So if I back out of these settings now that I know these functions and key keyboard trading is enabled, all I do is press one of those keys. So if I press S on my keyboard right now, it's going to uh, submit a short market order. Here I go. I'm going to press S and boom, we have a short market order. Now, what if we want to get out of that short market order? Well, remember the button for flatten is control shift and X. All I do hit control shift and X. And there we go. I've just flattened myself out of the position as easy as that. Now, what if you don't want to press three buttons or you don't like S as your short button? Well, if you come back to settings, come back to the hotkey sections and scroll back down, you'll notice that the fields on the right hand side are actually interactive. If you click on it, you can, for one, delete it. And then two, when it's highlighted cyan or this light blue color, it's actually waiting for your input. So the next thing I press on my keyboard is going to be the hotkey. So let's say, for example, I type in A right here. The next time I back out of this and press A on my keyboard, a short market order is going in. I could do shift and caps lock if I wanted to. I could do shift and tab. You can create a number of different combinations for yourself for keyboard trading and kind of program whatever you want in, whatever you like. 
as you can see, we did Control Shift X for the default to flatten. If you don't like that, just click on it and you can change it to whatever you want. If you want to make it F, so you know F equals flatten, you can go ahead and do so. If you need to make closed position C, you can do so. The possibilities are endless and it's really just a convenient way for you to press one or two buttons, get into the orders you want, get in out of the orders and just make things efficient and streamlined for you traders, giving you a little bit of ease of access and, you know, flexibility with your trading. You no longer have to do this on the dome surface if you don't want to. Of course, it's still available there as well. And please remember, we have all these other hotkeys that are available to you as well if you decide to use those. There's not too much else to this feature. It's pretty simple, but very effective and very important. It's been highly requested, and I'm personally glad we finally released this. So if you have any feedback on this feature, feel free to let us know. Of course, we're always looking to improve and add new things. Um, we really want to cater to the audience out there. So of course, any suggestions that you traders may have, we're really open to it, and we'd love to hear what you think. That's going to about wrap it up for this video. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to post them in the comment section down below or head over to our community forum. We'd love to hear your feedback. That's about it, and thanks for watching.